Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make these super simple vegetable fritters inspired by the Iranian cuckoo. For the ingredients, all you will need are eggs, carrots, potato, courgette, onions, cooked rice, plain flour, breadcrumbs, mint, coriander, dill, salt and pepper. If you don't have one of these ingredients, don't worry, you can still make this dish. What you need to do first is chop everything as fine as possible. Once you've chopped everything in a frying pan, heat up some oil and add the carrots and the onions and fry them until they're translucent. Once the onions and carrots look like this, add the courgettes and keep on frying until the courgettes are soft to taste. Your mixture should begin to catch colour and it should be soft to taste. At this point, add the salt and pepper and fry for another couple of minutes. Then your courgette mixture is ready to be set aside. In a separate pan, add some oil and begin to fry the potatoes you've cut into cubes. You should fry the potatoes until they're fried and they've caught colour. They should still be crunchy, like potato chips. Once both mixtures are cooked, set them aside and allow them to cool. In a big bowl, add the potatoes, the vegetable mixture, dried dill, of course you can use fresh if you have some, the flour, mint and coriander, some cooked rice, and lastly the breadcrumbs. Now give this mixture a good mix and make sure everything is combined. I also add a couple of teaspoons of saffron, but this is completely optional. Finally, add the eggs. Give them a good mix in a separate bowl and add it to the final mixture. I actually used four eggs, which you cannot see in this video, so make sure you read the ingredients below. Once the mixture is ready, heat up some oil in a pan. Once the oil is completely hot, if you have these egg molds, use them. If not, just tablespoon the mixture into the oil, like so, and wait for them to fry on both sides. They shouldn't need any longer than 2-3 to three minutes on each side and because you're using rice, they do colour quickly so be careful to check both sides. And don't worry if you don't have fancy moulds, you can use the back of a spoon and simply just flatten it out. And there you go, your vegetable cuckoo is ready to be served. You can enjoy it with flatbread or on its own. It has rice in it so it's super filling. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.